Recently, Ilan Artet, a contributor to Fox News, made a cryptic reference to the idea of investigating a previous suggestion that suggested the Federal Reserve purchase back XRP at a cost of $30,000 per coin. Tet's statement was made in regard to the possibility of investigating the suggestion. Through the provision of this information, Tirette addressed a hypothetical investor in digital assets that was present within the XRP community. Tirette has been leveling a great deal of criticism on the Ethereum project and Vitalik Buterin, the person who initially conceived of it. This is the most intriguing aspect of the situation. Jimmy Bally, the managing director of Bailo Capital, recently questioned Tarrant about whether or not he had shown any interest in the project. Among these allegations is the assertion that Buterin and other Ethereum co-founders were involved in the sabotage of Bitcoin and fraudulent initial coin offerings on the Ethereum platform. Given the vast number of experiences that Nerov possessed, it is possible that he will choose to present his argument on a prominent network such as Fox in order to reach a more extensive audience. It is disheartening to me that this has not taken place. A digital asset investor argued in favor of Zinov appearance on Fox News after the most recent Valley study, which sought to rekindle public interest in the possibility of such a presentation. Both the controversial ETH gate and the Ethereum Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which was founded in 2016, received investments of up to $150 million and more. Despite this, the DAO was compromised not long after, during which time it lost Ethereum with a value of more than $60 million. In reaction to Digital Asset's most recent comments regarding the event, Eleanor Torrett called attention to the fact that the controversial ETH gate and Ethereum do hack. What are your thoughts on the idea of purchasing back XRP at a price of $30? This year, she has compiled a list of things to investigate, which includes a variety of theories and other subjects. However, Tarek continued by mentioning that her list also contained a suggestion that the Federal Reserve of the United States buy back XRP at a price of $30,000 per coin. Jimmy Valley put forth this idea in the year 2021, which is an important fact to take into account in light of the country's rapidly rising debt. It's possible that the asset would replace the current financial system, in which case important government-owned financial institutions like the Federal Reserve would start a repurchase process. In accordance with the strategy, these instructions can be utilized to purchase XRP from retail hands at a starting price of $37,500 per coin. Valley had previously stated that it was possible for XRP to become the reserve currency of the world. In addition to that, the strategy anticipated a maximum XRP rate of $50,000. A significant portion of the XRP community held the belief that the concept was overly idealistic. The fact that Damon Schwarz, the chief technology officer of Ripple stated in February of the previous year that the buyback plan seems like a hope is particularly notable. Shores made this statement. Furthermore, John D., the crypto attorney who supports XRP, has distanced himself from the concept and given up on getting paid for his work on the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. This is due to the unfavorable comments that have been received about the hypothesis, which is now thought to have died naturally. The most recent comments made by Tet, on the other hand, have once again brought it back into public attention. A major XRP member who had previously rejected the idea granted Tet permission to investigate it. Tet was eager to investigate the idea, and he was granted permission to do so. It is not yet obvious whether the new words made by the journalist from Fox reflect the actual viewpoint, or whether they are merely a denial of the critiques and calls that have been made during the continuing legal conflict between Ripple Labs and the SEC. The significance of the journalist's statements is still unknown, though. Critical legal proceedings are scheduled to take place on January 11 for Ripple Labs, which is swiftly nearing a critical milestone. This date in court is really significant, and it is getting closer and closer. The Ripple Labs team is on the verge of breaching a critical benchmark that was established the previous year. Ripple XRP made a significant move when they announced that investors in XRP would be granted class status in the securities action. According to the allegations made in a class action lawsuit, Ripple is being accused of marketing XRP as an unregistered security. Judge Phyllis J. Hamilton has carried out an investigation of the certification standards that are necessary for the course. In light of the fact that secondary XRP sales did not satisfy the requisite criteria, the court came to the conclusion that they were not qualified to be considered an investment contract. 
as a result of the emphasis placed on the question of whether or not class representation was adequate in individual claim defenses, Ripple's counterarguments were rejected. Bradley is the primary plaintiff in this case, and he is grouping together three separate claims into a single one. This group included the legal actions that Greenwald, Zinov, and Okener took. Following seven previous postponements, the trial in the ongoing litigation between plaintiffs and Ripple is anticipated to start later this year. The dispute has been ongoing for quite some time. After demonstrating that it was prepared to take action, the well-known Bitcoin exchange Kraken courageously made the decision to request an intervention through the process of government intervention. This move is a response to an order that has caused concerns over the privacy of customers by mandating that exchanges in the United States disclose sensitive information regarding consumer transactions. Since the launch of Ripple, the value of the cryptocurrency has been steadily climbing, despite the fact that its growth has been quite mild. In the year 2024, it is anticipated that the value of XRP will continue to rise. Numerous projections indicate that the coin will undergo price spikes. However, in recent days, a single price prediction for XRP has acquired attention on Twitter. This prediction indicates that the currency will climb by 47,120 during the length of this cycle. One of the most prominent cryptocurrency analysts and XRP bulls has made a compelling argument in a thread about the reasons why XRP will experience a boom during this cycle. For your information, the current price of XRP is $5.09, in case you were still uncertain. It is anticipated that there will be a surge of 45%. In comparison to the previous cycle, the trading volume of Ripple XRP increased by a factor of two over the most recent week. Additionally, the price of XRP increased by more than 20 times due to its exceptional clarity, despite the fact that the SEC's litigation was extremely annoying. The possibility of a boom that is 40 or even 50 times larger than what is now anticipated is appealing from a regulatory point of view. This is necessary in order to adequately grasp the opportunities. Let us perform some approximate calculations based on a tweet that was sent out by Ed Crypto on January 3, 2024. In the event of a 40x increase, the value of XRP could potentially reach $11. Alternatively, it might reach $14 in the event of a 50x surge. In addition, Ak asserts that Edgar divulged a conversation he had with a famous banker regarding the possibility of XRP's prospective success in the future. A banker who keeps their Ripple XRP token for 10 years has the potential to make a sizable profit. It is projected that the cryptocurrency market will experience an increase in the next few weeks and that price estimates for Ripple XRP will grow more optimistic during the next few weeks. Despite the fact that 4,720 may appear to be a significant increase, it is possible to build a trend line that provides resistance to the downward movement of Ripple's price since it reached its all-time high of $353. There is also the possibility of surpassing this with a surge of $14, which is something that is quite unlikely to happen for a considerable amount of time. Even though supporters of Ripple XRP might have some optimism, they shouldn't expect the value of the cryptocurrency to increase in the next few months in order to make it possible for them to make payments to suppliers located in other countries.